unilateral U.S. information um, regarding the military equipment that we see moving across the border. Uh, we have seen hundreds of pieces of heavy military equipment, tanks, rockets, other material, uh, since September 5th when the Minsk Agreement was signed. Also of great concern is the fact that we have now recently seen other Russian military equipment moving into the regions of southwestern Russia, which have been used as supply points and launching points for infiltration to the separatist groups inside sovereign Ukrainian territory. All of this is contrary to the obligations that Russia itself undertook as a signatory of the Minsk Agreement back in September. Is what's been happening over the last 24 or 48 hours of the weekend, is this a turning point? We think in many ways it is. Um, it's a significant escalation. Um, uh, certainly um, a cause for all of us to reassess and to regroup. Um, the, the evidence of that is the tragic human consequence. Uh, but the evidence also is the thousands of, of rounds of rockets and, and heavy ammunition that are being used um, in these indiscriminate shelling attacks. Um, we all, as diplomats, are committed to working as hard as we can right now to try to put this back onto a diplomatic track. That's what's going to happen today at the OSCE in Vienna. It's going to happen tomorrow in the UN Security Council. And we understand there also may be a discussion um, at the Normandy foreign minister's level um, in, in Berlin. Um, but I want to be very clear, this recent reignition of the crisis is a consequence of actions that have been taken